welcome to another Cannabis Critique. Today, we are talking about another drop uh, from the Canact Wellness brand, uh, that craft brand in Illinois. Uh, today, we're talking about S'mores Cookies. Uh, this one is a uh, double back cross of Oreos. Oreos back cross number one crossed with Oreos back cross number one. So I technically think that's like four different crosses of the same strain. Interesting, but uh, before we get into all that, let's give a shout out to our Patreon supporters. Massive shout out to the 2A Van Man, Baker Man, Tim, and Scott the Bartender, and uh, shout out to Markeisha, our high achiever on the Patreon page. Now let's break it down, this uh, S'mores Cookies. Uh, this stuff tested in at 23.8% THC. Uh, the looks here were absolutely awesome, really. Uh, great, very dark and exotic looking bud. Uh, very purple and um, black almost as well. My only uh, gripe on this stuff is that it had a pretty poor trim job. But other than that, I got nice size buds and they had a really high bag appeal. Like I said, trichomes were popping uh, due to this uh, dark color here. Very exotic looking bud. You're going to impress people uh, when you get this stuff out, at least visually. Uh, 9.5 out of 10 for the looks. It would be like uh, almost a 10, but I took off some points for the poor trim job. Uh, the smell on this definitely echoes that Oreo's back cross. It's like uh, very creamy. That's basically the, the main note you get from this one. Uh, and that's basically all I wrote down in my notes. Creamy. 8.4 out of 10. Uh, breakdown here was pretty good. Uh, this stuff was uh, nice and dense, so it broke down into a lot of smokable material. Uh, 9 out of 10 in that category. Uh, the taste here definitely has that cookies, it lives up to that cookie name, uh, the cookie cross here. It's uh, very cookie-ish and uh, creamy as well. Uh, it's a, definitely a distinct flavor. It's not like my favorite flavor I've ever had, but it's definitely unique and it stands out uh, amongst the market. It's also one of those ones where if you just break down a little bit of this bud and sprinkle it on the top of your bowl, the whole bowl is going to taste exactly like this creamy bud. So it's uh, good for that if you're into the flavor. It's a very strong one and will kind of coat your mouth a little bit. I gave the taste an 8.7 out of 10. The high here as I've experienced with a lot of these Oreos, Oreos itself and Oreos crosses, the high leaves a lot to be desired, in my opinion. Uh, it's definitely on like the indica side of things. It's relaxing, but it's a, definitely like a creeper where you hit it and you're like, is anything going to happen? And then like 10 minutes later, you're feeling pretty nice. But um, uh, the high is relatively short-lived after that, despite being a creeper type of high. And it's just basically one note. It's like that stony relaxation type of high, which I enjoy. I just wish this one had just a bit more oomph to it, uh, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, I experience this a lot with the Oreos crosses. Uh, 7 out of 10 for the high. So overall, I describe this bud as... Fairly average high with a very, very nice flavor and high bag appeal. So it's like the perfect party bud. You can get this out if you're hosting a party with your stoner friends and they're going to be like, oh man, he's getting out his top shelf stuff for us. But little do they know, uh, this is actually a pretty weak strain. But they're going to look at it and be like, oh man, and really appreciate that you dug into your stash and got out some uh, high bag appeal flour for them to try. But really, it's probably on your lower end of preferences flour wise. So overall, I give this one an 8.5 out of 10 for the uh, S'mores Cookies. And if you enjoyed this cannabis critique, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.